Let's get a little bit more uh, discard collector name. Let's see if we can get a feel for if crystal is good, bad, or otherwise here. Patriot Gaming here for the opponent. Morning, Lemur. Yeah, that was really good. I think that's one of the... Uh, better new IP games from a small studio. Let's come out in a little bit. Modok into a bunch of swarms probably wins the game here. That's the one thing about uh, about these discard decks is pretty easy for your opponents to leave in these types of games they like no how beat they are how many swarm splits do I have I don't think a lot yeah it's actually actually just one Hey, final epilogue. Thank you for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Uh, leaving a card at base level if you're trying to get boosters from it, it's actually the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. The only, the thing that nets you more boosters is if you have a card that's missing boosters towards its next upgrade, it'll be twice as likely to get them. So still not very likely, but more likely. Am I going to play budget Thanos control for YouTube? No, I don't really play budget decks on stream. I throw them in like the best deck videos on occasion because otherwise people ask for them, but in general, this is not a budget gameplay stream. into my office, Abu. I draw a swarm here, I think. This Twitch stream pre-recorded, etc., etc.
So long, friends. Wow. That kid read. That's fine. We have a 15 power apocalypse here at least, right? I don't think there's a card, any card that beats us here, right? We're beating, we're beating Doctor Doom. Yep. Victory. The Shuri deck with Kitty from yesterday really broke me out of my slump and helped me climb. You love to see it. That was one of the decks that I called out as one of my uh, decks that I thought was sweet. In yesterday's uh, or in today's best deck video. See me in. Thank you for the two and a half years. The deck's gonna be the deck highlight this afternoon as well. Ego played the right two drop chat. Wow. Didn't snap Ego. Imagine not snapping Ego at infinite. There we go, there we go. Ego is cooking, chat. Ego is cooking. Let the man cook. No, Ego. You'd been doing so well, Ego. That's fine. I think we still probably win. Oh, you had one job, Ego. That's fine. I think the Modoc was more important than actually playing the Apocalypse. Messing around with the Kitty Shuri deck for the stream yesterday, it feels unbelievably strong. You may have cracked it, Jeff. That's you're not you're the second or third person to come in this morning and say that, Crazy Eights. I think I think I think Shuri's gonna be back on the map with that deck, no joke. Should we play a little bit of that? We've got a few people to talk about it. Let's play a couple of games with it at least. We might we might just bounce around a bunch today. Rather than doing the full hour, hour and a half segments, I have like, um, I have a bunch of deck highlights teed up already here, so not really in a press to find YouTube content. Yeah, just pippity pop around.
Brian Kitty had one is busted. Angel Enjoyer, chat. Hey, Reapwell, thanks for the half a year. The people that are saying I should not play this, you could climb with it. It's already edited and ready to post as a deck highlight in, in a little bit here. An armor up kitty here since we have priority. Now not only am I still waiting on my Angela variant, but I'm also waiting on I'm also waiting on a kitty pride variant. It's super sad. This is a little awkward. I guess Taskmaster is pretty likely to come into play here, huh? So am I supposed to do this? So Taskmaster's 12. It'd be real sad if we get Killmongered, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna gamble. I'm gonna do this. Happy Friday, Python. All systems go. Oh my god, we're a god. Just look at this stark professionalism. So drop our 20 power kitty into the Shuri path. Taskmaster it over here. Probably slide Vision over too. Yeah, they have they have some smart variant stuff coming in the pipeline for the shop, but who knows how long that's gonna take. Honestly, with my luck, the smart variant shop shop stuff will probably release before I uh I ever get the Angela variant I'm looking for. I switch out Jeff for your favorite other one or two drop card that you could play proactively. Jeff, Jeff's just curve filler in this deck. It's definitely not necessary. Nice. Is is in fact the time up chat? They could magic here, that's true. I don't know I don't know exactly what their deck is doing. I'm gonna spread out all the same and just see what happens here. Burrito. Glad we didn't move Jeff.
Our draw is real solid here. We get to Angela and to Kitty here in the middle, and then we get to go Kitty Vision in the middle, and then we get to go Kitty Taskmaster on seven. Hey, nice seed. Congrats. Yeah, the bounce decks are real solid right now. Yes, there are a number a number of different people that have been using my my name and stuff on on Snap pretending to be me. Captain Marvel is it a vision of this deck? Is that a preference at this point? I think vision is better because Taskmastering a 14 power vision is two more stats than Taskmastering a 12 power Captain Marvel. I think those two those two number differences are relevant. Okay, and then we successfully threw priority here. So our opponent is going first. So we don't have to worry about Valkyrie and stuff, which is nice. Just do this, right? Just spread out. Okay, here's an interesting question, chat. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one with a giant pile of boosters on a card like this. What is what is an appropriate number of boosters to let you trade boosters for a variant? Is it a thousand? What if what if it was a hundred boosters? Per, what if they let you trade one-to-one -one boosters for the gold cost? They let you do 700 or 1200? I mean, is that unreasonable? Like, that's a, that's a fuck ton of games. just supposed to wait till turn three to start kiddying for the sake of filling the raft ASAP. I'm about to 5k boosters on Shang-Chi. Man, some of y'all are crazy. Ooh, hood deck. They could fill the raft this turn, but I guess if they fill the raft this turn, Adelaide takes it away. No, I don't think they'll ever let you trade out old splits. I think that's that's definitely not something I would expect. Everybody ready ready for the weekend? Anybody have any exciting plans or things they are doing? Weather's starting to get nice. You get to be outside more if you want. Touch some grass. Yard work, yep.
You're gonna get drugged and grilled. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. All right, armor's perfect, because it lets me do this. Wildfire smoke. Is that uh, on the left coast somewhere? Armors, thank you for the brand new Prime. There's a ton of places you could send that. Thanks for sending it this way this month. Okay, chat. You gotta, you gotta understand. I'm an ignorant American. Where, where is Alberta? From left, from left coast to right coast. Like where? I, I'm gonna be honest. I can't even tell you how far up or down that is. If we're being, it is, it is left coast. Okay. Second from the left. <laughs> Billy Pilgrim. Thanks for taking Tree Fitty of Jeffrey Bezos' money and sending it to me. Appreciate it. Getting Viper another right. Soul is a decent hit. Is it though? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't play Shuri for the right side. Because, oh God, bless America. All right. Well, that'll do, pig. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want a Shuri right because of the void. It's like a world where this wins the game, Copium. Oh, that's an interesting thought. If we fill here, we could do this. Sure. Damn it, chat. I'd like the record to reflect my original line won this game, right? Did my original line win this game? No. No, I'm a liar. Or did either way? Did either way? Oh, the Green Goblin into the Savage Lands is very, very well played from the opponent. That's pretty good. Yeah, we've been incidentally climbing more since they uh they changed the cubes to seven. Mostly most of them playing Kitty Pride decks. It turns out most of the Kitty Pride decks are pretty good. Angela? Angela? Angela. Wow, they played right. I played Lizard right there, because usually people don't play into unknown locations, and ideally you want Lizard into a location that your opponent isn't playing to, hasn't played to yet. That worked out. Was there a consensus on which deck to rune with Star Lord? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's really bad for us. Um. I think because they didn't play Electro into Death's Domain, I'm actually supposed to stop playing Kitty and I'm supposed to just Shuri this turn. Because this is Sandman. Yeah. 
They are not a casual CNB and enjoyer chat. We do this right it beats odin we could lose to bagdito bid oh this doesn't beat odin i'm dumb i'm one short scorpion was really good it cost us what one three five this was a seven power scorpion Ooh. Two more Jeff boosties, chat. The Star Lord mission stands till the end of the season as a go away Tuesday. All the missions you have the entire season to do. You know, people keep asking me, like, why aren't you doing the Star Lord mission? It's like, I have three weeks to decide to fuck one of my decks up and put Star Lord in it if I want three extra season pass caches. I'll do it. I'll do it later. We'll figure it, we'll figure it out later, chat. My American given right to procrastinate. You find yourself not floating enough energy for Sunspot often because you're always playing Kitty. I mean, if I have Kitty and I'm always playing Kitty, it's fine that Sunspot is not being good because Kitty is great. So it's like one of those things where like, yeah, technically Kitty and Sunspot isn't a combo, but like also Kitty's really good. So like if it's being not a combo, it's fine that Sunspot is awkward. Oh, is this a Galactus Enjoyer? This might be a Galactus Enjoyer. Escaped. Their name, their name looked familiar. Definitely a Galactus Enjoyer. Hey, a little bit of happy. Infinity. Infinity. All right. This is only our fourth Jeff split. So no chance for gold, no chance for crackle, but a chance, a chance for ink. Send me, send me your energy chat. Let's be done. Let's be done with our splits here. I'll take a, a white, a, a inked with a, with a white border effect, huh? Or black border effect. Hit me, dealer. Never, never lucky rubber ducky. We go again. We go again. We go again. It's a reason to not open caches right away. I have every card in Marvel stat. So if I open a cache right now, there's a 0% chance I open a new card. I open my caches each week when a new card gets added to the client. And then when I inevitably don't open it, I then buy it for tokens and then save my caches for the following week. Split my scorpion seven times now. It's the most I've gone so far without getting inked or gold. It took me 11 on my viper. It's my my record for an ink or gold. Morning, critical ram. The person on Twitter yesterday 
wasn't 23 without ink or gold. They were 23 with no ink. Which is still unlikely, but it's a little less unlikely. They had, they had several golds in there. In their 23. They wanted explicitly an ink. You can't replace Jeff in this deck. Jeff is enabling Craven, Angela, and Miles Morales. It's doing too many things. Replace Miles. I think if you replace Miles and Jeff, you're playing a different deck at that point. You should go nuts and do whatever you feel like. It's no longer this deck and I no longer have opinions about it. Move Jeff into the middle in case we pull Miles next turn. One and three for that to happen. Sure, I think the Shuri deck for a four is very good. It'll be my deck highlight on the YouTube channel later today. It is very strong. Nightcrawler could do all of those things, can't he? Yeah, but we're already playing Nightcrawler. So you can't just replace... If your deck isn't playing Nightcrawler, you could typically replace Jeff with Nightcrawler. But if your deck is playing Nightcrawler and Jeff, there's no third card that fills all those same things. Victory. Killmonger loses left. They'd already played Killmonger. And stones. Yeah, we're we're relatively consistent around here. Occasionally, I'll lose track of time in the morning and go go live a little bit late. But usually, usually I'm live by 9:30 Central. It's currently 9:41 Central. It's high Evo abomination mood girl. Something to look out for. Yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to playing with. Monday. Look, Monday afternoon on the YouTube channel, I'll have a top X um, decks I'm looking forward to playing with High Evolutionary. I honestly, you know what might be the single most annoying thing about Galactus existing is World Ship used to be this really awesome pretty unique gameplay experience and now that galactus exists whenever world ship fucking happens i just feel cheated i feel like man fuck you i had to play a galactus game and i wasn't even playing against galactus it's just like another thing that that card ruined about marvel snap Uh, you can swap Jug for Stag. Yeah, I think that that, that swap's fine. Not me. Escaped. I think High Evolutionary will be a weak card the first few months. Why? Oh, I have Jeff. Oh, I have Jeff. Shh. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. I was, I was so taken aback by the gamer take that High Evolutionary was going to be a weak card that I forgot we had Jeff. Live from the Daily Just ab absolutely so flabbergasted by this gamer take that I lo I've lost track completely of the cards I had and what they did. Thank you for the over five years, Weens. Good to have you back again. Thanks for the 64 months. What if they also had Jeff? If they also had Jeff, we had Angela, and we would win by one, because we were down by one. Now, now, now. I'll make, I'll make my glue-eating jokes or whatever 
about people liking different things when it comes to Galactus play. But like, let's not call people playing something in the card game that you don't enjoy horrible people. I promise, I promise someone's preferences inside of this video game that doesn't cause any actual real harm in no way, shape, or form reflect who they are as a person. Beast out. Thank you for the brand new tier one and for the six months in advance. I plan to be here, Snap a and thanks for keeping me around. start doing this. I might start doing this. I kind of want to save Enchantress for the last turn so they think that they're competing in, uh, in Superflow. Punish. Is Stegron worth to buy, but the upcoming move cards are June? Well, Stegron doesn't really have synergy with the upcoming move cards, right? Stegron um, is a move your opponent stuff, whereas, like, the move cards that are coming up next month are uh, a move uh, your stuff. All right, and then, unfortunately... The well-placed Electra is gonna, gonna mean we're dead here. Well, yeah, just, there's no way 13's enough to win here. Kinda flipped a coin on the Spider-Man and lost it. Yeah, they're both good with Craven, but that's, that's about it. Like, so take this particular deck, for example. I wouldn't, when I say talk about a move deck in Marvel Snap, I'm not really talking about this kind of deck. So a, a move deck in my mind are cards that are getting you a ton of payoffs for moving themselves around. So things like Torch, Dagger, Vulture, those are move deck cards. Craven's like kind of on the edge of fitting in both, but this deck is really more of a like move your opponent stuff kind of deck than anything. Yeah, multiple man technically right falls into that descriptor too, but he's just not very good. I think I get Kitty up to four before I stop start copying her here. Are we passing? I guess we're passing. I guess this is fine, because then I have a three energy she hope for next turn. I assume there's some kind of paper boomer that's upset with the flesh and blood stuff I got into on Twitter the other day, Comrade Leo. Because they haven't, they haven't, they've been following since 2016, but they hadn't posted a comment in chat in over a year. And even then it was just one command, and before that it was like three or four years old. For reference, for people that aren't familiar, uh, Beast Out, thank you for... Thank you for the sub, by the way. Oh, I think I did that one. 
my brain is mush. Um, for people that aren't familiar, Flesh and Blood is a paper card game similar to Magic the Gathering, but they have a uh, incredibly expensive secondary market for the sake of making their booster packs worth a lot of money so people can open lottery tickets. And I pointed out that their game was expensive on Twitter in comparison to other paper TCGs. And one of the developers quote tweeted my post about their game being expensive, telling me to go fuck myself. It was a real, real classy engagement. And for reference, when people, when people, uh, for people that don't know when I say expensive, I mean like, this is a game, no, that is not an exaggeration, it was, it was, ver the verbatim line was, go fuck yourself, Jeff. There is an incredible amount of overlap with people that do NFTs and other crypto grifting and people that do TCGs with expensive secondary markets. And unsurprisingly, those, those two groups have a ton of overlap. A, a secondary market is what refers to paper card games and selling, buying, selling, and trading those cards between individuals. And for reference, for comparison's sake, like, even Magic the Gathering has a problem with their cards being too expensive. Like, I think Shieldred and Magic is like a $70 card right now. But like, some flesh and blood cards that are like less than, less than four years old cost $200 for the cheapest copy of it. I think I already put it in time out there or something. So just like most TCGs are ridiculously overpriced and expensive due to secondary market stuff. But this one, this one stands out even among the group of things that are too expensive. Lebcog, thank you for the brand new prime. I appreciate it. Uh, another Cloning Vance Kitty game. Honestly, with the Cloning Vance here, I think I want to get Kitty going sooner rather than later. Hey, Night Night. Thanks for the brand new Prime. Well, I appreciate your support, Lem Kong. Folks like you make my job possible. We've been hovering right around our sub goal for the month of 2,500 concurrent subs. People that haven't been here when I've talked about that, if we continue to maintain... That amount through the end of May will continue to be ad-free sans pre-rolls for next month as well. And obviously, regardless of if we take ads because of the sub count, I won't play them over gameplay because that sucks, but... I'm probably supposed to leave here because of the expansion diff. Steg the Gamora, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's ideal. If I stegged the Gamora, well, I guess uh, if they Professor X us, we're dead either way, right? Professor, Professor X and Spider-Man are both lights out in this instance with the Daredevil. You know what? I suppose the fact that 
this is Isle of Silence actually meant that, yeah. Yeah, I definitely messed this up. The fact that this was Isle of Silence meant we should have stacked here, yeah? Escaped. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like, for people that are new to the channel and you're, like, trying to tell me how card games work, like, I played Paper Magic for two decades. I played it competitively for, like, six or seven years. I understand how the pricing in those games works. It's like, it doesn't matter if I only need one copy of a card or if I need four of them. I think a single card, especially one that's like less than four years old, being more than like, I don't know, let's say 15 or 20 bucks is stupid. So like a single card costing like triple digits that's not even that old is like absurd. Like, at least when some of the older Magic cards get up at higher prices, they have the excuse of like, oh, this is a card from a decade ago or two decades ago. But like, when, you're, when your game is less than four years old, it's just you are just greedy and or fucked up. Probably both. When your cards are super expensive. Yeah, Mythic. Mythic Rares were a shitty introduction to magic. It's it's funny to me because people the, the people that were defending the game were like, Jeff, they tried to reprint this card and it's just expensive because there's demand. It's like, well, when they printed it, there was one copy of this card per like thousand booster packs. So like it's the problem isn't that they tried to print it and there's a lot of demand. The problem is that they made it artificially scarce from the start because they knew that that was profitable to do. I mean for also what it's worth, like, things like Mythic Rares <clears throat> and stuff like that, they're exciting. Like, opening this expensive rare card is something that people typically enjoy doing. And those things are a thing because they're popular. Gambling is fun, chat. It is a thing that many human beings enjoy. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying gambling. It's just silly when you look at gambling and try and be like, nah, this isn't really gambling. I'm I'm pretty firmly of the opinion that all uh, card game booster packs should probably have an 18 plus sticker on them and should be regulated like gambling. They're basically scratch off tickets. I don't think there's anything wrong with scratch-off tickets and slot machines and casinos. But that's what they are. Maybe, yeah, Spider-Man Middle might be a good shout. I kind of wanted to trigger Craven here, but you're right. Maybe I should be trying to lock something up with that. Here. They had the same idea, okay. All right, one copy of Jeff, please. Lizard. Uh, gas Spider-Man split. This gives me plus five here up to 18. So I'm up 14 on them. I think we just do this. I assume they're not going to play for the right. Probably did. Yeah, I think the person that shouted out I was supposed to Spider-Man middle on on five was correct. Oh, 
card games don't aggressively market to poor people the same way lotteries do. I don't know how much time you've spent around card gamers and stuff, but I definitely knew a lot of people during my time spent grinding competitive paper TCG stuff that were spending lots of money they did not have to spend on card games. Fuck, I knew one guy at one point that he literally cashed out his Roth IRAs to buy fucking Power 9. Those were being a Roth IRA is a retirement fund. And power power nine are um really expensive old rare magic the gathering cards. You want you wanna hear one of my favorite favorite grinder stories from my time grinding the tour? I was once at an event where a person was playing for top eight, had a chance to play for top eight in the last round, but he knew that top eight paid him via check weeks later and top 16 paid out cash that night. So... He conceded his last round match instead of making top eight because he needed the fucking cash to pay for his hotel and his food that night. The whole the dream, yep. So like, yes, paper TCGs also kind of cater themselves to people that probably can't afford what they have going on. Yes, Martini, thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Broke down and got Darkhawk. You'll get a lot of mileage out of Darkhawk. He's a good pickup. Yes, Magic Pros need to have tons of expendable income and or sponsors is an accurate take. Something, something that I always found amusing is one of the things that doesn't get acknowledged enough when talking about privilege and accessibility by a lot of people is there was a lot of debate in the Magic community about giving invites to people that didn't earn them. And there were a lot of people in the old boys club who were upset that they earned their invites and that other people were being given them for free. And it's like, well, yeah, you showed up and played for those invites, but also like you had fucking privilege dripping off of you to be able to do that and like travel to play in competitive tournaments two or three weekends a month flying around the United States or the world in some cases. So it's like, yeah, you earned what you got, but also, like, you wouldn't have been able to earn what you got if you didn't have, like, this incredible extra amount of things going for you. I love Dream Dimension, said absolutely no one ever. Yeah, I don't, I don't regret our time traveling around Philly to play in tournaments. A lot of, a lot of solid, solid memories. But I would never do it again. Not, not even that it's even an option, right? Like, big paper tournaments consistently like that don't exist anymore. 
COVID killed those and I doubt they're ever coming back. Ghost have a spot in kitty decks? Uh, no. So, rather than trying to play Ghost in your kitty deck, you should simply manage your priority better. The fact that kitty bounces back to your hand at the start of the turn, not counting towards your priority, means that you really don't need... <sighs> means that you really don't need that kind of, uh... That kind of thing with it. Rip. I have Shen for their monster in the middle, so I think we're vibing for now. They also have Shen for the monster in the middle, deal. You just got ghosts, is there any good use? Not really. Just lock up the machine world here. Could be a Valk deck, maybe? Uh, the Jeff Polaris Shang Chi makes me think they're probably just like a generic good stuff style deck. Oh, they're the stature deck. Sure, that makes sense. I think the number of decks that Ghost would typically be good in are often ones where you can just play to not have priority with good play. It's like what it what it comes down to with the TLDR. It's like, I don't know. I think Ghost is like more of a crutch in a lot of spots than actually like useful and necessary. Yeah, yeah, even in Spectrum decks, she's awkward into Cosmo. Agree. Hey, bud. Ooh, we'd have actually lost a stature in the middle. It's an interesting note. Was it marginally better to move Nightcrawler mid and play Jeff right? Uh, it's a wash, right? Because playing Jeff middle triggers Angela, whereas moving Nightcrawler triggers Craven. So it's all it's all the same. Typically, you won't put Craven and Angela on the same path, but we got Polaris, so they ended up there. these other two drops at hand, I'm just going to get Angela down here so I can go kitty plus two drop on, on three here. Bang, electrode here and we'll leave. Sure. 
Just give them the right here. I think the plan is give them the right and then, or give them, sorry, give them the left and then Spider-Man the right. Excited for any of the cards that are coming out. Uh, High Evolutionary is super exciting, and I'm also looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to most of the June cards. Honestly, I think all three of the June cards look great. I suppose we died at Octodoom. Oh, wait a minute. What if we do this? This still dies to Doctor Doom, but it's better against some other stuff. Triple, lovely. Ah, uh, this video here, old man Ace, breaks out how reserves work. All current jet variants are super rare, correct? Super variants will only be bought, correct? That is correct. I fear climbing too high and entering the bot zone. I don't know. I don't even know what too high is under the, all the ranking system changes they've done. But yeah, that's a, that's a concern. I mean, bots are fully not 100% a thing of the past. I watch, I watch KM stream periodically and he still hits way more bots than I do. Where did I get my Jeff Barrett? You can only get the Jeff Barrett's from the shop is what we were just talking about. They're all 1200 gold ones currently. I really can't give an informed take on should you buy Thanos or wait for High Evolutionary because we haven't played with High Evolutionary yet. Card looks like it has a lot of potential, but it's also this weird card, so it's really hard to know what the power level is going to look like until we play games with it. Abide like the dude. Thanks for your up with that prime. It's been good to have you around the Discord server as well. Oh, is this a 700 gold jump variant? I thought this was 1200. Am I wrong? Now you're going to make me go luck. I thought I thought it was 1200. Making me doubt myself. Yeah, internet says this one is 1200. My bounty boarding Hong Kong today. I might wait till Monday. The bounty board stuff pays me out based on viewer count or a little on the low side today, which is pretty typical. Fridays tend to be a lower viewer count day overall.
I think this is a spider me on the right into Stegron. Them off Bojo World of the last turn. They could get us with a Spider-Man of their own here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. <laughs> Here's a real question. Am I supposed to move Jeff so I beat Power Stone? Kitty and Stegrod are gonna kick her to 11, and then this is 19, and then this is 24. You think? I think that's plenty. They could Jeff of their own on the right, that's true too, which is more of a reason for me to move by Jeff. Although I guess I lose if they Jeff Wright plus play something else because then I can't move something with Stegron. Oh, they do have 20 power Thanos. Yeah, they have their own Jeff. Rip. That's fine. I think this play's correct. They got they got lucky with uh, Professor X. Cheese in the middle. It happens. not paying attention. We obviously should have played this over here. Well then. I guess that technically works out. Opponent snapped. I think this is fine. I'm going to stay in because I have Spider-Man on the Strange Academy. They could be storming the Strange Academy and then we're probably dead, but... Let's flip a coin on Stegron hitting the Dracula, huh? This is one of those spots where Juggernaut would actually be better than Steg here. Steg, Steg one is flip. So we've got that. Snap them back here before uh, we spooter man the left. Anything special for the one year stamp anniversary? That's a good, that's a good question. Just think about that. From 85 to 93 in a blink of an eye, the Shuri Kitty deck is no joke. Yeah, it's super solid. Yeah, I looked, um, I looked on my, uh, I looked back on my YouTube the other day and I think my first, my first Marvel stat video was posted, um, May 26th, if I recall. So a week, a week from today.
Okay. I need to I need to retreat this in. Holy shit. Okay. I'm gonna close my Twitter after this so I stop getting distracted by it. But holy god, fuck this platform. This so I clicked here, and then there's this show additional replies, including those that may contain offensive content. So I clicked show. And then visibility limited. This tweet violates Twitter's rules against hateful conduct. So I'm like, oh man, this has got to be bad. They were making a joke. And like, this is, this is sarcastic, very obviously. But it's just like, this is what Twitter classifies as hateful fucking conduct, conduct that they're hiding. It doesn't let me like the tweet. You can't like this. They've disabled it. But fucking Elon Musk on main gets to post alt-right conspiracy theory bullshit and respond to people like libs of TikTok and just like, but th this, this is what their system has flagged and won't let people like? Just what, a, what an incredible platform. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, free, free speech platform, right? How does one sniff their own butt per se? Very carefully. They got rid of my death. That's so sad. That's so sad, Jet. Well, I did this. My hand went overfill. I think I'm just doing this. Ah, uh, this is just Galactus, right? Escaped. Yeah, when I first when I first started doing out content stuff. The amount of random hostility online from people I'll never met who don't really know who I am just, like, was really astounding. It's a big, it's a big part of why I'm a, I'm a large, large proponent of blocking and walking away from people. Because if you sit there and like go back and forth and argue with people that try to be shitty with you, you're just gonna get in this huge negative feedback loop with it all. The best, the best thing you could do to a troll is walk away from them because trolls are simply there looking to make themselves heard and they just want an audience. It's a big, it's a big reason why people, why people get so mad when I block them on Twitter, because blocking them is denying them the thing they really wanted, which was more engagement with me. They think they think they're entitled to get to engage. Yeah, they want they want the interactions because they want to farm clout for me interacting with them. Longers.
I really need a Carnage or a Killmonger chip. Unfortunately, I think with both of our destroy cards being left in our bottom view here, we gotta bounce. What's Mysterio do in this deck? It holds a Nova bonus. It's food for Carnage. Ooh! Okay, that gives us an extra draw here. Killmonger? Killmonger? God bless America. Uh, most of the cards we're blowing up aren't really good for Venom. We'd be better off playing Deathlock, I think, still, even with the Venom buff. And my, my number one piece of advice to people is don't make changes to your deck every time you hit a low percentage possibility outcome. Like, both of my destroy cards being in the bottom couple of cards of my deck is not something that's going to be a statistically average outcome, and I shouldn't make a knee-jerk reactive change to my deck that I'm playing because I hit a low probability outcome. Well then, honestly, I think I might just wait a turn here. I don't know, wait one more, we'll have a big turn four. Dr. Dubaway is pretty good. Zabu. Hey, Enderos. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate the pride. Welcome back. Need to beat us by ten in the middle. Or have a way to get stats right. We yondued their Doctor Doom. If they go if they hit nine, they tie us. If they hit ten, they win.
think there's a good deck that plays Sentry. I am happy to pump here. Or in way in danger of getting too many cubes. Come take them. I don't I don't think any sentry decks are optimal at the moment. No. Toy. You have they fixed Moon Girl Miles last patch. They did not, unfortunately. Cody or not, nah. thanks for the over a year and a half. Welcome back. You didn't think we were in the same region. So, um, most of the closed beta players are on US West, regardless of where their actual geolocation is. Because there weren't there weren't as many servers before the global launch. Oh. Is it all? Maybe it was all. I thought it was most. I think, I think, I thought there were people that at a certain stage, um, I thought there were people that at a certain stage were, were at a different server, but I don't know. Yeah, I thought I thought there were some some beta people on a different server. I think it, I think it depends on when you got your invite. Like I I had a first wave invite. I'm trying to decide, do I want to moon girl my Nova? I think I do. Do I want to copy these three cards? I don't know that I do. Moon Girl the Bar, yeah, that's true. I think I'm still playing Moon Girl over here to force them to put Jeff into the bar. It's close though. I don't think social media created any negativity that didn't already really exist under the surface. The big thing social media did was give people who have always kind of been awful this outlet to let their awful out where there aren't really direct repercussions for their actions. Oh, I, I could have put Yandu into the bar too. Yeah, that's a good call. Like I don't I don't think social media made people awful. I think 
people were already awful and they were like, oh, this is just where I'm coming to be that. It gave, it gave people a platform where they could hide behind it. Seems fine. It did, it did let groups of awful people group up, that's true. Didn't play around the orca, got me. GG. Nerf orca, LOL. Hard to be bad about losing to the fish ship. Two on sesh? Thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Wow, did they really hulk their kitty? They hulked the rice man, sure. Make our copy of death really cheap. Moon girl. Man, that's rough. The monster island's making it so I didn't have an opportunity to carnage anything. It's a little sad. This is like our best possible play here.
All right, so we're hoping to draw Death and Moon Girl here. Definitely not killmongering. All right, Shauna's too slow for sure. But a moon girl, the middle. Shrink their, shrink their lizard down, put 14 power in over here. We haven't had any uh, Moon Girl or Death Games yet this morning, but deck's coming along all right. Standing for about an hour, let's sit back down. Piece of candy. Seeing sweet. So, fun fact, chat. When you put Kitty into Quantum Realm, she gains two power because her base power is uh, is zero. What kind of bribing does chat need to do for some Galactus gameplay? For 50 USD, I will play Galactus for 30 minutes. If you're thinking, Jeff, that's a lot of money. I'd never pay you that amount for that amount of gameplay. Good, that's the point. Okay, so we work to fill both of these. I didn't play Squirrel Girl in Quantum Realm, chat, because if I had played Squirrel Girl in Quantum Realm, my opponent would have filled the raft first and I wouldn't have gotten an Orca here. I didn't make that play because that play was bad. Ha, huh. unfortunately, two orcas aren't even really that useful here, right? Because of the quantum realm is the other one? Orca right and hope to peel Killmonger. That's not a terrible, terrible plan. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we need Carnage a turn sooner. There's good chance this is a win anyways, though. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yon dude, their Modoc this game. <laughs> what a close game. Lost the lost the breaker by one. Why didn't I play Hulk over Kitty? Because I'm cursed with literacy. God, it's a goddamn curse. Yes, the info out there was the ref card. Is that correct? Hey, Benji. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate the five butts. Welcome back. Whoa! There was a big tip in there, too. Anonymous says the people want Galactus. And Will was a Galactus player. All right, fine. Fine. I will. I will debase myself live on stream for your viewing pleasure. I didn't promise to be happy about it for the 30 minutes, okay? Going to grab a deck list now. Uh, the donation was anonymous. I'm not surprised that this person wanted to keep their identity hidden. Glitchy, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, my avatar should be Mr. Negative. Yeah, that's a good shout. G-Man content, what's going on? All right, 1048, start the clock. Capitalism makes people do terrible things, chat. Capitalism makes people do terrible things. Gaming. With the super flow, we just play on D, right? Rip. Until five minutes ago, I was okay with capitalism. Now I'm questioning everything. Sad that this deck turned this card into the into the bad guy instead of something sweet. I am inevitable. 
Well, that's unfortunate. For other people that have never seen me play this deck, by the way, this is the problem with paying me to play it. I'm actually just not capable of drawing Galactus by turn five. It's not, not something that I am capable of ever doing. Might win. Well, I mean, we're guaranteed to draw Chavez next turn, not Death or Null, so I think we're dead. Okay. Rip. No, Bub! I needed you to go right, Bub! You are the chosen one! If Bub had gone right, we get to Shang-Chi them and then win the game? Dead regardless. Dead regardless. Play death left. Uh, there's a big house right there. I'll get some Spider-Man boosters along the way, so it's not all for naught. Chat, we've got the thing, chat. I'll do it, I swear. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to snap. Psylocke into Yondu, they're also Galactus playing scum chat. Are they? Yeah, I think I think because of Titan we actually dock here. Yeah, Yeah, maybe they're not Galactus with the Yondu middle. They just like some weird... Nope, they are? Okay. I was going to say, are they some weird negative deck and not Galactus? The answer is yes, they are both. It's actually optimal to just not... Not play Galactus. Just going to... Go ahead and Spooderman them in the middle.
<laughs> he had text box explaining why the world is ending. That's true. The deck title's not on stream. We were paid to do this, chat. 30 minutes, okay? technically not even good for us, right? Because, like, we didn't get to enable null or anything. I'll play Electra. We'll play Destroyer on 5. It'll be great. Alright, Doc Ock wins, I believe. Prage. Prage for the Doc Ock, chat. Prage for the Doc Ock. Esports. Esports ready. Oh my god, this lockjaw tucks whatever this is. Okay. All right, Jesus, take the wheel. Yes. Guys, gals, and non binary pals, we got him. Ha! Got him! These are. These are the 12 cards I recommended in my best decks video for Galactus today. I'm not a huge fan of this archetype, but it is objectively good. You know what else is objectively good? 39 months from silence. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. We've now been playing Galactus for 10 minutes, chat. 20 more minutes, I promise, okay? And before anybody gets cheeky and thinks you could donate another $50 for 30 more minutes of this, it's now $100. Every time someone does it, it doubles, okay? My threshold has to, it has to go up. Boomer snap, you coward. Got it. What is the reset timer on $50 Galactus buy-ins? Is it been done? I haven't decided yet. I'll let you, I'll let you know. Does the donation prolong the stream as well? It does not. I actually have somewhere I have to I have to be at 4 p.m. Central today, so stream's gonna have like a hard cut of like 3:45 or so. That's fine. Usually we don't go super late on Fridays, anyways, because Friday. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Proxy plays. Thank you for the brand new Prime. Appreciate the support. Oh, 
Oh, them putting a bunch of stones in their hand is actually great for us here, right? Harsh, but fair. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't draw Null. Hey, Chudakoko, thank you for the third of the year. Welcome back. Destroyer mid? No, I want to lock them out of left. Oh, I could have waved as well. I forgot. There's your boomer snap. I'm supposed to do this, right? I boomer snap and then I press the Thanos button like my brain is huge. Then we do this. Have I, have I fully embodied the Galactus persona? I am so good at this game. Oh, sorry, the full Galactus player experience. <sighs> now, now we've mastered it. We have truly become the Galactus. We didn't rope enough. Okay, I noted for next time. Now I've been streaming Galactus for 15 minutes, 15 more minutes, and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, we actually have yet to blow up the world, don't we? Are they playing the deck we were playing earlier? I think they are. I believe they're going to play left and Null's going to win. Jeff, actually play the card Galactus Challenge. Mood. Rip. I mean, it's not like I'm not playing Galactus in spots where it's optimal to play it. We just actually haven't had an opportunity where it's like, yes, it's correct to blow up the board here. 
We also just, like, aren't very good at drawing it. Like, the one game I potentially had Galactus as a play, it was just like, oh, there's something better I should be doing here. The chat. Turn four Galactus, turn five Spider Man. Friendly neighborhood. animation. <clears throat> is, that, is that how this works? I say snap and then I press the Thanos emote. That's the stuff. it? Is this it? This is how this is supposed to work, right? Then we do the dead pull because their card blew up. Did I nail it? We executed it perfectly all the way through to the end. This is your stereotypical Galactus player. We have we have embraced it. Our, our emote gameplay was perfect. We've been gaming for 20 minutes, chat. I feel myself becoming a horrible human. I'm being consumed by the darkness. Alberto, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, they could be Galactus. Debula makes me think they're probably Sandman Ramp, though. Jeff is a monster. <laughs> What's going on, Nord? Shout out to Nord and all the other real MVPs of the Twitch platform. Four month sub, first time chatter, lurkers rise up. Good to have you in chat. Nine minutes remain, chat. Nine minutes remain. You forgot to retreat later, I apologize. We'll optimize that for a second. No fist bumps and always retreat later. Okay. I'm learning, Jack. Give me time. Our hand's incredible. Electro into Doc Ock to Shuri's lab, into Galactus Citadel, into Null the Citadel.
They can have Professor X. Yeah, but if they have Professor X, it's going to get pulled into Shuri's lab here, so that's fine. This is, this is actually, like, the Galactus deck's best draw, like, minus a Yondu on one. Because Doc Ock on, on four lets you clear most interaction that they could have to stop you on five. They have Cosmo. They would need Cosmo, like, to Cosmo the Doc Ock, and then I do something else, right? Like, it's like their hand, their hand is empty. Well, they're a Sand Band Gamer. Gross. Did I, did, I, did I nail it? Is that was that correct? <laughs> oh, this shit is so toxic. I just want everyone to know, all of you that watch this today. And by Galactus as a result, you're gonna get what you fucking deserve when they nerf this card in three weeks. So you should you should expect Galactus to not have the same text box. Please, for the love of God, don't let Galactus have the same text box. Um I think I'm actually not supposed to play Yondu here because I want the least likelihood that Wave gets pulled by Sakaar. God bless America. My country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty. Of the I sing. Do, do, do. Have they already mentioned they're changing Galactus? I'm just, I'm just, I'm full cope they're going to change it, okay? My Electra has a gold background chance, so it's better, okay? Strictly, strictly better. Who paid me to play this? It was an anonymous donation. Did I get the order right that time? Game to perfection. God, 
Giggling Piggy with the 10 sub gifties and Alberto with the one sub gifty. All right. All right. 30 more and then we're done. 30 more and then we're done. We'll call this our Freaky Friday episode of Hoglandia. Prime sub for the most toxic Galactus player. Thank you for the half of your tracks. I appreciate it. If I was short on actual sweet decks to highlight coming up on the YouTube channel, I would consider making this a highlight, but I have a bunch of actually good and interesting decks I want to post deck highlights for, so this one, uh, this one is going to remain Twitch exclusive content, okay? So this will be 1620. This will be 18. And the next turn I could yawn do null and probably win a tiebreaker. Well, I guess I, guess I could do this. And then null wins the middle. No, I think I'd rather tie and have it come to a tiebreaker because null's going to be fucking huge. Oh, yeah, that's true. The destroyer mid takes a point away from the what's it called? That's fine. Play for all three here. Oh my gosh, they are a pool one deck, aren't they? Climbing with Galactus. Chat, Galactus has one of the highest cube rates out of all the decks in the format right now. The people that tell you Galactus is a deck that is easy to counter and if you put a tech card in your deck, you beat it, are fucking idiots that don't understand how this deck works and why it is good. The Galactus deck is very good and it's very resilient. Yeah, the games are relatively quick too. It's a good shout. Agree with that. It's not for good for farming season past experience. True that. So, I don't have a lot of strong opinions on this archetype as far as what's optimal or not. This deck list was me skimming over the details, looking on. Excuse me. Looking on, uh, what's it called? Untapped and comparing different deck lists. I think this one has a lot of good things going for it. Oh my god, they already burned their Professor X. That's so good for us.
All right, do you have a Spider-Man as well? There is a reason why in my best decks video this morning, I said if you don't want to lose to Galactus, you should be playing Thanos Control. The Thanos Control deck, I think, is as close as you could get to a sure thing against the Galactus archetype. It's very, very strong into this matchup. If you're looking for a deck list for that Thanos control deck I'm referencing, check out the best decks video from this morning here. I should change my title to at least I used to be. That's a... Uh... Again, a good shout. No gameplay YouTube video. The gameplay YouTube video is scheduled to publish in 37 minutes. You have to, you have to space out when videos go live on YouTube, otherwise the algorithm just brutalizes you. Uh, playing death is correct because if they play Jeff, they could win. Victory. All right, we need to change. We need to change the title though. Evil Twitter, at least I used to be, are definitely good. Good top picks here. Not potty trained is up there as well. Embarrassment to my family? There's so many good ones in here for Galactus players. I go, I'm gonna go with at least I used to be. Absolute garbage. Also, also a strong contender for best Galactus title. Object of ridicule. There's so many good ones. The horrible Nimrod fits with this deck. No, I think this build is better without Nimrod. Michelangelo, thank you for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. The Nimrod builds tend to play Shuri.
I'm gonna draw Galactus here and it'll be fine. Oh, Gibbs, good news. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Contract K, thank you for the 29 months. All right, 22 minutes left. Not that I'm counting. I figured out why I was never able to draw Galactus before, chat. It was because we weren't being toxic enough. Once we, once we amped up the toxicity, they, uh, the game really leaned into making sure we had it here. Game, game recognizes game, yeah, exactly. I'd like the record to reflect that we're currently uh, nine and four with this deck. Just so, just for the, the sake of whatever you want to call it. We're dead shit. Need to draw a wave next turn. <laughs> Electro doesn't do it. Maybe. Maybe they're... Why aren't you playing Death? Electro is in play. We're beating Chavez, right? They have no cards in hand.
All right, yeah, we defeated the Serial Galactus player. We become, we've become the thing we hate. We've truly, we've truly embraced, embraced the darkness. Hopefully today's session spreads some light on the people that are like, I don't get why people do this. Like there's a there's a real thing to the power trippiness that decks like these generate for people in terms of the emotions they elicit. This means I can't Galactus if I top deck it, but also means I get to empty their hand. Well, shit. I believe we have died, Chip. Escaped. We are we are in overtime, Mega. We're gonna be we're gonna be done in 14 minutes. I'm baffled by the wave patch. All it did was destroy a deck that was healthy in the meta. I, one, I disagree that Death Wave was healthy in the meta. Two, we have communication from Second Dinner, and they said this when they patched Wave, that part of the reason why they made that change was because of future design space that's coming in the pipeline very soon. One of, one of the reasons they gave for... Um, one of the reasons they gave for um, making the change that they made was because High Evolutionary is coming. Uh, Wave is like Trinisphere now, Jin. She all she always wins. Everything everything is for after Wave. What do you mean the deck that allows you to play three six drops on turn six and your opponent only make one play is unhealthy? Yeah, exactly. Enough said, bub. Enough said, bub. Oh, walkers! Oh, our, our Null actually isn't that big here.
Yeah, so for people uh, that haven't seen the upcoming High Evo data mine, High Evo is going to be introducing another um, another cost reducer. You've never seen Evo before. Well, we're playing Galactus, so we have to. Why did they retreat? You clearly stated that you were losing. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Savage. Appreciate it. Oh, Starlet Citadel is actually really bad for us here. Because it means Avengers Compound could end up right. Uh, fantastic, Angela Split. Stereo, I got turn three. Interesting. I'm gonna Doc Ock the middle. Hoping that this goes here, and then we'll destroy her into Dahl, I think is the plan. Oh my god, and they were trying to moon girl their death. It's me, I, I'm the problem, it's me. Do, 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 do. We're gonna be one destroy short of being able to play death alongside Null, which is sad. Hey, thanks for the two years, Stad. Good to have you back. Oh, I have Electro Mana. Oh, I totally do. That's perfect. Death buff coming in clutch here. I'm not gonna emote stamp spam TLSG. I have I have I have standards yet. Anybody else we'd be smashing the buttons here. I'm gonna choose to be respectful in this moment, though. Uh, TLSG has a, a full-time job in addition to doing content stuff, so his streaming stuff's been on the back burner, he said. All his jobs been busy. Reaver, thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate the over two years. Eight more minutes of Galactus. Not that we're counting, chat. If you wanna if you wanna extend the Galactus thing, it is a $150 donation. Every time, every time you wanna extend, it goes up. Being a snap streamer doesn't pay the bills. There's a handful of us that make a full-time living from content. Uh, there's me, there's Cozy is full-time, uh, Binks is full-time, uh, Dexter's full-time. 
There's some other full-time creators that like do snap and other stuff like Regis does does snap and Hearthstone still. Gozi doesn't stream, but he makes content. I'm just saying snap content creators that are full-time. Molt, uh, Molt is full-time. Ordinary Harry is full-time. We're, we're probably close to, close to double digits at this point. Gift 30 subs, he'll play more Galactus. Yeah, 30 subs or uh, or a direct donation or some biddies. Otherwise, I will happily go back to playing not Galactus. No, we're not crowdfunding. It's got to be one whale sending all of it. But if I was going to allow for crowdfunding, it would be way more than... It would be way more than 30. <laughs> I know I know how Twitch chat works. If I allow crowdfunding, we'll do this for the rest of the day, and I'm not about to do that. Jesus, that's 30 subs. Uh, well. Was that, Lucas, based on your comments, you were anti-Galactus, right? Was that a pro-Galactus donation? I'm confused. You can you can decide. The the money is talked. We have four more minutes of Galactus at a minimum. You tell me if we're done or not after that. I can't tell if this Doc Ock is even a winning light here. If five cards in their hands. I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? Let's do the cube rate for a passer. I've been making the point to boomer snap, so I think our cube rate's actually pretty low, despite having an all right win rate. Uh, after that game, we are... We are 12 and 7, and we are up 9 cubes. We are 12 and 8, and we are up 8 cubes.
That's true. I did donate eight cubes earlier. So te technically we're 12 and eight. We should be up like, we should be up more cubes than that. I, for I forgot we donated. The viewer counts up 10% since we started playing Galactus. Yeah, that's more related to the fact that Harry signed off for the day, I would wager, than us playing Galactus. It's typical to see a little bit of a boost when he logs off for the morning. Black Widow Electro. Uh, so this is Sandman then, huh? I thought you hate Galactus. I do. I enjoy money though. Big, big fan of money. Money. Money and I go way back. Cozy not stream is YouTube videos and graphics are sweet. As a streamer, do you find yourself thinking about competition? Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's a good or proper mindset to like think of other content producers as competition. A rising a rising tide takes all the boats with it. So like more people making good content keeps more people interested in Snap, which in turn sends them looking for other content producers past just the one that they, they enjoy the most. Oh my God, we totally are done with our Galactus for the day. All right, I'm done. I was reading, I was reading the chat. Escaped. There's not a fixed pool of snap viewers. That's also very true. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people that aren't just here specifically for snap. They're here for the specific person play. What am I going to cleanse my palette with? A bounce deck? Let's play a bounce deck. Get back down to what feels like home. The 30 sub guy said we could stop. Lucas, Lucas said we could be done. Uh, I don't really like any of the current Master World Rota decks I've played in recent memory. Hey, Bass. Thanks for the third of the year. Welcome back. Is there a particular reason for not upgrading my Spider Man? Yeah, I don't have enough credits to upgrade my Spider Man. Credits are always the bottleneck regardless of how much you're spending on Marvel Snap. Even someone like me that's spending a lot of money doesn't have enough credits to upgrade every card that I have boosters to upgrade. Hey, Merch God, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate the support. Folks like you make my job possible, so thanks for keeping me around. Real good.
Yep. Maybe for this deck or the Moon Girl version? I don't actually know the answer to that question. Read. Read. Uh, Mysterio is one, two, three, four, five. So this is only... I have priority, which means I have to worry about Shang-Chi. So I think, I think because Shang-Chi is a concern, I spread out and play for all three. That could definitely bite us in other ways too. We get like Shang to the middle plus stature left. I think we lose here. Oh, if I would have put the real Mysterio in the middle, would we have gotten this? If I put the real Mysterio in the middle, we would have been 10 to 10. And then I would have been 16 to 3, and they would have been 19 to 12. Yeah, if I would have put the real Mysterio middle, we would have, uh, we would have beaten the Shang-Chi. your uncle. Thanks for the third of a year. And Branchity, thanks for the five months. I'll play these over here on the right because I want to beast them back next turn, I think. they leave here. It honestly could have been that the rest of our hand was strong enough that I was supposed to snap before the lab flips up here, but I guess this could have been another restrictive location that would have been bad for us. It's like Crimson Cosmos or Sanctum or something. Is this my confirmation bias or are most of the new locations restrictive one? I think it's about 50-50 or so. They did also comment that moving forward, there'll be less restrictive locations. So that's nice. You want to play Destroyer Control, the Atuma deck? Lucas, or a different one? We can totally get that in. Rosa, thank you for the four years. Appreciate that. Uh, they could be Sandman. If they're Sandman, we're just dead. We'll, we'll leave the game. Perfect. We can key that up. We can uh, chew that up after this game. Sorry, Falcon, you're gonna have to take one for the team here, bud. Explain why Chavez isn't in this list. Yeah, because with Kitty, you have enough one drops that you consistently draw one drop without Chavez. So it's just not necessary. 
Previously, this deck played Chavez, that deck played Chavez because it didn't have enough things to both bounce and play one drop consistently early, and Kitty just like kind of fills into all of those roles. Emotional Pendant, thank you for the three months in advance. I plan to be here, Snapple and thanks for keeping me around. Oh, chat, we inked my claw the other day, by the way, for anybody that hasn't been around. Looks real good. Yes, Kitty also means your opportunities to actually play Chavez on six are fewer and further between. Is that an accurate take? Hey, Goratrix, thanks for dropping off a few of Jeff Bezos' dollars. Appreciate the support. I think I'm just punting killed and playing for the other two. Uh, I will not be posting a Galactus highlight. I think I already have decks that I'm going to have to leave on the cutting room floor that are sweet. And I would rather fit in as many sweet decks as possible rather than post a Galactus highlight. Need to draw a tuba here. We're probably dead. Stacks of friends up on Mojo World. Might be meaningful to like play for Professor X there later. Get rid of New York. Just do this into Professor into Destroyer mid. Yes, you can play Jeff into Professor X. It's one of the reasons why Jeff is so good at this archetype is because it can get you into Flooded and Professor X after the fact. Claw is actually absurd here because we win any breaker with Mojo World. They got my Doctor Doom, but YOLO. How long does it take to get black and white cards? Your first chance to get a black and white split is the fourth time you split a card. But it's only a 10% chance from there on out, so it could take a while sometimes. Is Jeff worth 6k tokens? I think Jeff is... The best non-perpetually series five cards you could buy right now. It's very good. I like the long tank to wait and see if they should beat Klar, beat beat Destroyer. Hopefully they're enjoying the stream.
Who's to say Jeff isn't also perpetually Series 5 at this point? That's true, actually. Even, even if Jeff's not perpetually Series 5, I bet it's going to stay in Series 5 longer than two months because it's good. By Jeff or wait for Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Man 2099 I expect to be playable, but I also expect it to be a little bit more narrow in application then. Uh, what's his name, Jeff? They said two of the releases next month will be direct to series four and one will still be... One will still be um, series five. So we'll, we'll see. I bet 2099 is going to be the series five card because he's so good. I'm waiting to play Storm on four here instead of on five because I want to be able to Gamora the Flooded the turn it's locking up. There's been a lot of backlash on the series downgrade. I have not heard a single person say anything positive about it. Anecdotal. Oh, they did play first center. I know. So 18 left puts us to plus 11. How do you move Spider-Man 2099? Iron Fist, as well as the season pass card for June. The season pass card for June is a 2-3 that says move the last cards you played to her location. It is a, it is a wonderful Atuba variant. He forgot about the Cosmo. <laughs> they forgot about the Cosmo. Yeah, maybe maybe Heimdall will be a play Heimdall and win the game card Animated. with Spider Man 2099. Just open an S5 from a card, rip snow guard. Pour one out for eco chat. If it's already your Friday evening, have a drink in their honor. Let's stand up for a little bit, shall we? Using our Flexa Spot desk. Chat. To show the sponsor for a second. If you're someone like myself that's decrepit and over 30. And you sit at your computer for, you know, 5, 6, 10, 12 hours a day. Cannot recommend a standing desk enough. Your body and back will thank you. A good, a good office chair goes a long way too. But even in a good office chair, you just shouldn't be sitting for all day. I do. We have a we have a standing desk monster now. Flex the spot. Also, if you're someone like me that's constantly bouncing, being able to like sit here at my computer and bounce around a little bit while I'm while I'm here working is nice. People occasionally comment that my basic basically dancing is distracting, but I can't help it. Chat, I had, to, I had to move a little bit. Yeah, I have a cushion mat on the floor as well. Why oh, didn't end turn? Sorry about it. It's my favorite kitty deck so far. It's I don't make me pick. I love them all. I love all my kitty decks equally, chat. 
You can't make me choose. They're all so beautiful. That's another good shout out. Most leather backed gaming chairs or pleather backed gaming chairs are a waste. A good mesh office chair is one of the best things you could get. Well, Master Roll today is the only good with Ronin. In my opinion, yes, only good with Ronin. But the mesh goes slack. Not in a good chair. Chat, I'm a solid 200 pounds of man. My my high-end mesh office chair has had... Has not gone slack in... Gosh. I think it's... I think it's seven years old at this point. Six or seven. My recommended on office chairs is if you live in a medium or large town that has a place you could go look at and sit in office chairs, you should go do that. Escaped. Rude. I think Nebula is still good in this deck post kitty, but maybe that's not true. Yeah, with a lot of places moving to virtual, you could probably find decent office chairs on discount from places that are close enough because they moved their workers remote. Okay, so we're gonna go Cosmo into Destroyer here and Atuba into Professor X here. This is kind of the two cards win two paths. Atuba X win one path, Cosmo Destroyer win another. Where did I work before streaming and YouTube? So I have a uh, undergraduate and graduate degree in mathematics. I spent time doing data analysis and process automation for a Fortune 50 company for a little while after grad school. And then when my oldest son was born, I worked, I moved to uh, working part-time adjuncting at a couple of colleges in my area while I stayed home with our baby during the day. I know this is not a number a lot of people want to hear because it's expensive, but like, no joke, if the chair you're looking at costs less than any of like the two to three hundred dollar office chairs are just not not typically high quality. Yeah, less than less than three hundred, you're probably gonna throw it away before long. I think we're actually better off playing Destroyer here, right? Their kitty is eight, so that only puts them to fourteen here. I think I think I I think I could lose eighteen over here. Oh, Gamora Titania has more power. She totally is, isn't she? Yeah, good shout. Do I play any other video games that I don't stream? Uh, yes, I am uh, currently very anime video game addicted. I've been playing uh, Genshin and Honkai Impact are the two things I'm playing off stream at the moment. Victory. 
But I think uh, Monday, I actually just picked up Honkai's back on back on the bounty board. I think we're going to do Monday afternoon, we're going to play some more Honkai Star Rail on stream as a sponsored segment. Gorda Rex, thank you for the brand new Prime. Appreciate that. Well, that was a few minutes ago. Honkai Impact or Star Rail? <laughs> Genshin. Genshin. Uh, Genshin Impact and Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, Star Rail's been fun. If you're someone that's been playing Star Rail and you want to chat about it and you're a sub, make sure you pop in the sub's Discord server. You got a super active uh, Star Rail thread under Gaming General. What's Honkai? Honkai is a turn-based RPG for the makers of Genshin Impact. That's on PC, Android, and iOS. I think I'm going to play Cosmo to the left over here because it kind of mitigates some of the variants that Expansion can have. Do they just lock us out of making plays for next turn? That's an interesting choice. Oh, they locked themselves out of making plays next turn. Not me. That's extra funny. Okay. Are they Agatha? They're not Agatha. They just messed up. So confused. Is yeah, I think I think I'm just clawing because that sap feels like they think they could play into my Professor X path. This is not a bot champ. This is very much a human. The wolf. Thanks for the two months of pride. Welcome back. Aragon, thank you for the over three and a half years. Happy Friday, folks. Looking forward to the weekend. I'm going to be off all weekend from live content, but you can expect daily highlights over on the YouTube side. Speaking of, our Shuri Kitty highlight went up there this afternoon, following up our best text video from this morning. Taken. We're taking the kids camping this weekend with the Cub Scout pack, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Our our two-year-old has said she wants to go camping too. But we're gonna we're gonna take two cars just in case she decides she doesn't want to sleep overnight. Toddlers. Toddlers can be real, real hit or miss on what they actually want. No, not car camping. When I say take two cars, I mean in case one of us has to leave with the toddler. Oh, car camping is you drive up to the site. I've never heard it described as that. Yes, we'll be driving up to the site for sure. They gave us a Cosmo chat for my 18 power destroyer right. Sounds great. Hey, Jax, thanks for the three months in advance. Appreciate the support. Happy Friday.
Uh, please don't post full deck codes in my chat. Thank you. Well, with the infinite draw, we're definitely just passing. So this is 17 right now. It drops to 13, but they could master mold me. I guess I could put this here and then we could go like Gamora Nebula here. We also go Claw Nebula and make them think like they're safe here when they're probably not. Yeah, we can also go infinite on here plus claw here. I kind of like playing for the monster metropolis though, because I think they bet I think they think they're safe here. If I do the playing more cards out of my hand also makes the Ronin worse, which is nice. Oh. Almost got the hat trick, chat. Why are the deck codes for this game so crazy long? I don't know, but it's really something they could work on fixing. Big, uh, big agree. Can not infinite players play infinite players? No. That was changed uh, patch before last. They updated that. We need Jeff Booster's chat. I need to ink my little sharky. Yeah, we're just talking about that snowflare. I'm taking the kids camping this weekend. Yes, my pack sells Cub Scout popcorn in the fall. Which card should I get if I'm picking between High Evolutionary or Iron Line? You should definitely get the Permanent Series 5 card if you're torn between a Permanent Series 5 and not. It's my, my general advice to people. Your card complete. You think it's worth hoarding caches for the two Series 4 card next month and buying High Evo and Tribunal with tokens? Oh, God. That's an interesting thought. Are you supposed to be, if they're adding new Series 4 cards you might want directly to Series 4, are you now supposed to be hoarding fucking caches for those releases? I, did, I didn't think about that as a repercussion for their system change, but yeah, maybe you are. Yeah, I, I think, I think the answer to your question is yes, and I fucking hate it. That's, that's definitely an unintended consequence of their system change, huh? Beats Doctor Doom. If they Magneto a Tuma out of here, if what ha what happens if they Magneto the left? If they Magneto the left, or uh, they Magneto the left, it pulls this, and then I win. If they Magneto the center, I think I'm supposed to leave Jeff over here to play around Magneto. So I'm winning right, even if they pull a tuba out, because they're gonna get plus two, so I need to leave 18 here instead of 15.
Oh my gosh, we lose because of Mr. Fantastic. Brutal. On a heater. We have been taken to class. Vibing so far. So, probably hello. Actually, a great draw because I get to go zero to Tanya, and then I get to armor. Snapping? I'm just gonna leave. I don't know that we can win the flooding even with Claw because they're a uh, hella deck. Does Ghost work to prevent Kitty from being killmongered? So it does, but I also think that that's generally a crutch. I think most of the decks playing Kitty could just avoid having her get Killmongered simply by playing better and actively managing priority. Speaking of Kitty, chat, my Shuri Kitty video is getting murdered by the YouTube algorithm. If you're hanging out and can give it a click and a like and let it play in the background, you'd be the real MVP. Speaking of the real MVPs, Blues Man, thanks for the primer. Appreciate it. We're currently experiencing a little bit of a hostile work environment here. Jotunheim into the Ghoulia. And dealer's choice, I suppose. So, like, I know these locations flipping up is a little bit of annoying, but, like, locations like this is actually more of a reason to be playing decks like this one with Storm so we can have tools in our toolbox to mitigate some of this location variance. People, people love to complain about these like they're problematic, but you could make a deck building decision to give you more ways to interface with these things. It's just a lot of people choose not to have that be the case. This beast variant is incredibly uncomfortable. Can't make any deck building decisions to mitigate that beast variant. That's true, you know. The claw. They passed. So I assume we're getting she hulk tier.
Beast's original power was big hands, big feet. That's, uh, today I learned. One card? Just a... The Kitty Shuri deck is really solid. I I genuinely think that genuinely think that uh, it's gonna put Shuri back on the map. Electro's actually not terrible for a deck. I, th I think I'm actually just Electro. That's a solid hit for us too. This might, this might just be like Electro into Professor X, honestly. Your thoughts are replacing Lizard with Beast of the Shuri deck. I mean, Kitty's literally the only card you want to bounce in that deck, so that sounds not good. What is our avatar? Uh, this is a Misty Knight variant avatar from the closed beta, so should be coming back soon in one of the paid bundles. We'll play Jeff into Fisk Tower here. Where you find info on the Kitty Shuri deck. It was the highlight over in my Hooklandia Snap YouTube channel today. I post different highlights there seven days a week. And Cordoval, thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. Usually, usually change decks every like 60, 90 minutes here on stream. And the uh, best of things get highlighted over on, on the YouTube side. I think Jeff is a very good use of your tokens. There it is. Very strong. Armor. Rats. Oh, I, I just storm here, right? And locked them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you played any Teenage Warhead recently? I have not. I don't think Teenage Warhead is very good at the moment. She's a meta, meta gamey card that doesn't really have a good home, I don't think. I guess going up to 13, going up to 13 does win here. We lose to a Patriot.
I mean, Teenage Warhead was playable for a little while and sure he was one of the best decks. I expect I expect the metagame can shift to make Teenage Warhead playable, but things like Warhead, Super Scroll, Shadow King, these aren't de cards you build decks around. They're cards that you like look at the metagame and go, okay, this is well positioned. We should play it now. How long do you think you should play a deck before making changes to its card composition? That really depends on how good you are at understanding what is working and what's not in a deck. And it also kind of depends on like what happens in the games that you're playing. Like uh, something that happens very frequently is people make a lot of like knee-jerk reactions. Like you hit, you hit like some, you hit an outcome that happens like one in ten games or one in twenty games, and you're like, oh, I have to make changes to my deck because of this outlier. Uh, I would be genuinely surprised if Living Tribunal is a playable Marvel Snap card. Maybe, maybe it'll shock us, but Living Living Tribunal, as as presented, does not read as a this is a playable effect, in my opinion. Silent Caesar, yeah, I'm fast on the mute hockey. Yeah, yeah, I think fun meme card. It's like Living Tribunal reads like big, big Omega Red, basically, right? And uh, famously not a playable card. Yeah, if you're looking for tips on beating Galactus or anything else you might be interested in playing in Marvel Snap right now, I recommend checking out my best decks video today. It includes not only talking about what I think are the best decks right now, but also counter meta picks to play into them. I think they're going to play into the flooding and then Professor X plus Jeff is going to win Mojo World. And then Destroyer can win the middle for us. Great job. Yes, Mojo meaning that we had priority for Godzilla flipping up. Also, made that play better with Jeff. Good. This is one of those decks where people are like, can I replace Jeff? And it's like, well, you can, but you're going to lose percentage points in a lot of spots. Being able, being able to sneak Jeff into your Professor X path or into the flooding after the fact is a big deal. I'm going to play Nebula into New York so that way they feel compelled to play there and then can move things less in later turns. I mean, I don't know about rebuild the deck Hobbit because, like, this core was being played somewhat successfully by people before Jeff existed, but Jeff gives it a marked power level increase. Ever try Shuri in negative? We played Shuri in negative before they nerfed her. Post nerf, I don't think she's good enough there. Because the, the appeal to Shuri in negative before they nerfed her was you could go Shuri, Black Panther, Zola. But you can't go Shuri, Black Panther, Zola when they're both in the same path now. Negative. Negative doesn't play a lot of high power things. 
There aren't a lot of great things for you to actually show you. Nightcrawler is budget Jeff for this deck. Yeah, to a degree. Getting into the Professor X pass is a pretty big deal though. You also like play out into the flooding on turn six with some frequency. There's also a thing that happens. Yeah, the beard's been holding its own. Usually I usually I trim it by the time it gets about this length, but I'm feeling feeling alright. It is it is an adorable Jeff variant. We need we need the boosties. Make it make it Incafy. Are you playing Crystal in that Hobbit or no? Crystal, crystal negative is something that's on my, my to-do list to get to at some point. Can you uh, tag me in a importable in the subs discord server? I wouldn't mind uh, checking that out today. Hey, Asterion, thank you for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. So this is a this is an L, I would assume, but we'll let we'll let TLSG have some content with the the kitty on Shuri's lab. I guess Professor X on the lab might steal it. We'll see. Actually, you know what? I should play a Tuma off of the lab and then Professor X the lab to keep Kitty trapped and try and win the other two. That's what I should do here. Isn't a Tuma dying? No, I played zero. That, that's what I should do. This Atuma should have gone middle, and then Professor X should have gone here to lock them in. Yeah, that's fine, Hummet. I think if I had played the Atuma in the right spot, I would snap here, but I think we're likely to lose because I didn't think my line through all the way. This for the almost four years, Eldune. Welcome back. Oh, uh, yeah, we played some Kitty Shirt earlier today, and it was also the highlight this morning on my YouTube channel. Check it out over there. I'm playing to you snap. What else did they bounce back that's zero here? Okay, so if we would have won this with plus 10, we'd have won this game, just Iceman. And Yondu, okay. So I think we're gonna lose the middle here. I realized my mistake after the fact, at least. So, close, close set. I don't think I don't think we could lose this one if I had two men to Professor X appropriately to keep Kitty trapped. Yes, Lamentus with Null is very silly. In a game recently where the first location was Lamentus putting death and null in hand and the second location was world ship. <laughs> 
Solid. Solid one, two there. Maybe a little bit above average. I would like to play Jeff into the Stark Tower so he can get bigger before we move in. Uh, Shuri Kitty was yesterday. We did live. We played a little bit today, too, for a couple. Armor up, Nebula. Kiss the Killmonger neck. Cosmo left, and then I think I'm going to Professor X left as well, with the expectation they're going to be playing into Stark Tower. We'll see, though. Well, now we do this, right? Because they're playing here. And then they can't Taskmaster or whatever they're shurrying because we have them locked in the middle and then we have Cosmo on the left. We do this, it gives us the flexibility to move Jeff out of Stark Tower. The log gets extra strong on the right, that's true, you know. right yeah because if she if she jumps left we're tied here and then they're only up by five or up by six real close game yeah I think this deck this deck's very reasonable Look at untapped and sort by average cubes in 70 to 100. We can take a look at untapped stats here in a second. Playing their gamer too. Does Captain Marvel need a power boost? I don't think so. It's just somewhat in infinite farming bots. It's not that interesting. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Um. So this is going to get plus eight up to nine. Meaning if I do this, we're beating Dr. Doom into here. We're not beating... We're not beating Dr. Doom plus Odin, though. Yeah, and any soaking messes with the numbers?
The raft is bait versus Sandman. You're bait versus Sandman. What's soaking? Soaking is uh, putting extra energy into Sunspot. Pro tip, don't type what's soaking into your work computer. Don't, don't enter that search that one. Save yourself. So close, chat. So close to being able to get it over here. I don't I don't think 15 wins the right here, unfortunately. Yeah, a little short. Alright, chat. We're not done for the day by any means. I'm planning to stream for another hour or two. But I do need to run to the restroom. I'm going to tap the add roll button since I'm stepping away anyways. BRB for two minutes. All right, Obtuse Habit has delivered us a starting shell for Negative Panther. They said it was bad to set expectations. I guess Kitty's fun with Shuri too in here. Seems like it could be fine. I wonder, um, Hobbit, have you tried Iron Heart over Mystique? Iron Iron Heart's a card that always impresses me in this archetype in general, and uh, she's real good with Wong. I don't I don't love Mystique with only Iron Man and no Blue Marvel.
Let's kick the tires of this a little bit, shall we? Our hand was looking okay to start, but we can't, Mr. Negative in District X deck. How do you get a tier two sub? I think you have to let your current sub lapse to re up at a different a different tier two AC. But don't quote me on that. Howdy, Verabus. Chunkles, every streak does start somewhere. Thanks for the two months. Good to have you back again. There's a manager sub button. You get a discounted upgrades. Ooh, that's good to know. Noted for the future. Thank you for the info. Lovely wife brought me junk food chat. She's the greatest. Hey, thanks for the 39 months, Stiggy. Welcome back. Is there anything more American than cheese fries? Maybe something deep fried? Fries, fries are deep fried, right? Deep fried and cheese. Deep fried cheese fries. <laughs> Wind paid my hand. Clear for takeoff. Even magic. Do, 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 do. Ragnaros, thank you for the year and a half. Welcome back. Magic, magic, magic. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is this is kind of hot, huh? I get to I get to draw the rest of our deck here.
play Zola, but I think this is probably good. Potential for Killmonger is a good shout. Zola, Zola instead of Kitty was the call there. I think we probably still end up losing, but that was a better play for sure. I couldn't play Shuri Panther right because of Goose. Just hit infinite with Shuri Kitty. Nice. I think I think Shuri's back, chat. I think I think Shuri Kitty's putting that, that card back on the map. Snap has deck-based matchmaking as a post has reached the top of the Marvel Snap subreddit again. Yeah. Yeah, for anybody that's new here, if you're ever ever looking for stuff about me around the internet and you see a lot of negativity, it's because we ban shitty conspiracy theorists like that here. They don't they don't take kindly to being forced out. They're real fucking loud. Marvel Snap Conspiracy Theories. There's a very common copium in the Snap community that Marvel Snap looks at the deck that you are trying to play and explicitly tries to pair you into decks that are bad matchups or decks that are mere matches. Because thinking Marvel Snap matchmaking is out to get you is easier than admitting you suck and can't climb the ladder because you suck. Think of this. I believe. Wow, they played for mid? Oh, I guess they're playing for all of it. That's fair. I am. Oh gosh, our Iron Heart has a chance to pump their Titania here. Yikes. Rip.
Yeah, that's the biggest joke about the matchmaker pairs you into bad matchups. It's big what I call main character syndrome because the idea that you always get bad matchups because the matchmaking is rigged ignores the fact that every time one person gets a bad matchup, someone else is getting a good matchup. Yes, that's another part of it too, is... People are like, oh, whenever I play, whenever I play a deck that loses a Shang-Chi or Killmonger, I run into decks playing Shang-Chi or Killmonger. And it's like, well, you're running into decks that play Shang-Chi and Killmonger even when they're not good against you as well. It's just, you don't know that you're running into those decks because they people just don't play those cards out when they're not winning the game most of the time. Uh, there are three factors that account for matchmaking. Visible rank, internal MMR, which is a hidden number, and then um, your collection level to a degree. I should have played this in a death domain. I was talking and clicking. Who would you sub for Jeff and your Sherry Kitty deck? Probably Scorpion. Whatever your favorite one or two drop is. Or Polaris can be fine cards as well. Oh, these stupid restrictive locations. If I had played negative here, I'd be in such a better spot, but I'm an idiot. Eat this other hot dog, then we're gonna focus up and win a couple of games. We've had some slops here, Chip. Portillo's Portillo's has uh, veggie-based hot dogs. Which, let's be honest, they probably have as much real meat in them as a typical hot dog does as well. This one's just being honest about it. We need two of these to go right.
Yeah, they've really been great, dude. I've been a vegetarian for um, almost 15 years now. And compared to compared to how things used to be, especially like going out to eat, it's like night and day different. Zola, please? Zola, please? We're not supposed to Ironheart mid again. But I, re I really need stats left. Nah, I think we're supposed to go left. Nobody can tell you if you should save your tokens for High Evolutionary or buy Thanos. They're both perpetually Series 5, so they're both Let's fine buys. It. Nobody knows how High Evolutionary is going to play yet. Card's not out yet. You think in general, Crystal is supposed to be part of negative decks now? I don't know the answer to that question. I know, I know wait and see isn't the exciting hot take answers you want to these things, but it is the appropriate, accurate answer. Sometimes reality doesn't disappoint. I think I should Panther now? <sighs> yeah, that's fair. If I Panther now, I can Ironheart next turn and then Zola an even bigger Panther. It's a good, it's a good take. Wakanda forever. 
No, they have not shared any info on impending weekend missions yet. Weekend missions are designed to reward you for being a paying customer. I've heard that take, but only one of the three weekend missions is locked behind an actual paywall. Remember, you get collector's tokens every single month for free. And everybody just gets to do the one that, that gives you credits. So... We should have just left when we were flipped up. Such an annoying location. We had such a good negative hand too. Our weekend mission starting tomorrow. I believe those were a future thing. You can't buy every new card though, so some of the use a new card missions are effectively paywalled. That's true, you have to pick and choose, but that's not all of them. The difference between being series three complete and not being series three complete is basically nothing in terms of how many tokens you get now. You know the Series 3 mystery card is supposed to start? I believe that is scheduled to start after the next patch. I assume that was again another this is a new feature type thing. There's no OTA update on the weeks that we get new cards, no? Or on the weeks that we get a patch. Cosmo, Cosmo. Oh, they have Cosmo. My feeling about this version of Mr. Negative feels more meme than dream so far. Our draws, our draws that don't involve playing Mr. Negative on turn three or four feel pretty bad. This Phoenix Force confirms season pass. I mean, technically nothing's confirmed for the season pass until 
they do the official announcement video, but they've never changed a season pass card that's been data mined uh, before, so tentatively loosely, <clears throat> it's expected. E negative on four or Zabu on two. Yeah, that makes sense. This deck asks for Mystique. I don't know that Mystique really does anything for this deck. Like, it's good at copying exactly Iron Man, and that's about it. Unfortunately. Means we could get shang chi If they don't have Shang-Chi, 28 slash 32 Power Panther should win left and right forest, no problem. Technically, rock last because of arrow. It's a good shout. Testicle observation. Let it flow. Let it flow. Do, 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 do. Zabu never bothered me anyways. That's not the turn two negative I wanted for Christmas. I just modocked so hard the game crashed, God bless. Uh, where are we playing negative here? Angela or Nidvalar? I have to decide where I'm magicking, I suppose. I think I'm gonna negative Angela, so that way I could go Panther into Zola and Nidvalar. Yeah, I wanna keep a lane clear for her. I keep it clean, clean, clear for our Panthers alone. I'm just passing. Magic the icebox extra, I think. Okay. There's also magic the super flow since they sure in. Oh, this is uh this might be Shuri Kitty on the other side here, huh? So obviously this means there's a chance that Zola misses Black Panther, but think of my big numbers and the burr. Think of the burr, chat. Good 
Mr. Zola. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Am I supposed to not play Iron Heart and Iron Man for the sake of having two chances at Black Panther here? I think that's the case. Is double Iron Man better than double Panther? I actually don't know the answer to that question. Maybe? Wakanda forever. 64, no, this is 128 if it goes across, right? Okay. Flip the coin, Zola. There's a good Zola. Sorry, did I say 64? I meant 256. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. So Iron Man would have been 20. I think the Panther was bigger, chat. Like the, I think the Panther was a little bit bigger. Don't let your, don't let your memes be dreams. Hippity pop, the fun don't stop. Bring on the kitty. Solid diff. Crystal's drawn us an extra card here, but we kind of don't have space to really leverage it, huh? can't even play the Black Panther. Or sorry, I can't play the Shuri because of Hellfire Club or here. I guess we go Panther into Iron Man Zola. And we hope that the Zola hits the Panther or the Iron Man to spread him across. Won that coin flip at least. Okay. Wakanda forever. Is this is the plan? I believe, I believe, I believe. All right, coin flip me, Daddy. is uh, a professional this afternoon. Does Widow's Bite prevent Crystal's draw? It does. Uh, that command's no longer relevant, Duck. We can just delete it. Ranked, ranked, changing it to the most recent patch. It's no longer 10 and 50.
Mine. We're no stranger to ego. You know the rules, and so do I. I wouldn't snap it for any other guy. Ego is playing all our cards out. Don't think he understands how the Marvel Snap works. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, good golly. Ego has got to be extra terrible with Kitty, huh? He's awful with Shuri, too. Yikes on a bike. Have they made the Agatha and Ego AIs bad on purpose? I don't know why people think Agatha and Ego are an AI. Agatha and Ego expressly play the cards out at random, chat. They are not an AI. They take random fucking game actions. A legal, legal move generator is a more apt way to think about it. But it was too much of a coward to even snap the ego inside of infinite. Escape. Gamers. I know. What kind of what kind of person do you have to be to not snap the ego at infinite? Like when we're when I'm still climbing, I like almost like like fine, you don't want to risk your cube, but like, we're infinite. Come on, press the button. Jamie Griff, thank you for the quarter of a year. Appreciate the prime. Welcome back. Ah, Tinkerer's Workshop. You're one, you're one entry too soon. Playing a Star Lord meme to get uh, to Guardians meme to get Star Lord wins, and all I have to say is bless bots. Yes. Worried we wouldn't have a thing to use our energy with this turn. Lovely. Oh, yikes. In my opinion, people who say Ego is a terrible game experience are kind of telling on themselves in a way because they're kind of communicating to everybody else that they don't understand that snapping, retreating, and evaluating your board for those mechanics is a key part of the game. Because Ego doesn't get rid of every part of the game. It still leaves a very big part of the game to the player, which is the snapping mechanic. And it's like, fine to be like, I don't enjoy the what Ego does, but like, Ego is objectively something that's still going to let the better player win more frequently. Or win cubes more frequently, I should say. Yes, also that. If you really don't like Ego, just leave for one cube. It's not a big deal.
The snap on Ego Beam takes away from the skill testing part of it. I'm not saying you're wrong. But also, snap on Ego, please. That's funny, by three round. yet. Ah, uh, damn it, the hitmonkey is right. I think this deck is worse than the negative null deck I played a bit of. Alright, I kicked the tires on it for a couple more, but this, this feels like the type of negative decks people often describe where if I'm not drawing Mr. Negative, my deck doesn't really seem particularly functional. A deck highlight for negative doll. Yeah, it's the negative Deadpool deck. This is last week, I think. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few Panthers. Get up into double and triple digits just fine. Agree. Numbers are going burr. Just accept that we're getting a rock. Hey, next deck, six for the two months. Yeah, the negative, the negative destroy deck felt like an all right mix because, like, it had negative draws that were good and it had Deadpool draws that were good. Yeah, sure, Kitty Solid Slaw. Thanks for the five months. I don't really know what optimal optimal sequencing with Kitty looks like, if I'm being honest. Great, Sassy. They could have Jeff or Spectrum here. Or like Fister Mantastic or Beating Fister. Spectrum. Spectrum and Jeff allow them to beat the Iron Heart here. What if we just assume they can't get more power into the left? Yeah. Yeah. 
Did we did win the battle. Oh. Wong and I hurt the previous term, I didn't done it, yeah. Mm. Howard! Get the duck, Howard! We're shuffling! Shall be set right. Chat, if I play Wong before I played Ironheart, there are permutations where we end up with the exact same amount of power. So it's not a guarantee by any means. We also then don't have enough energy to go uh, Shuri. Put the other one on the last turn. How many splits do I have on Theano? It's just two. Does Iron Land count towards six stones play? He does not. He gets the effect, but he doesn't have their name. The stones care explicitly about having played cards with particular names. Thanos recently, I've been having trouble using a block draw seems tricky to use. Have you tried screaming Leroy Jenkins as you shove various things into your lock draw path? Wow, chat. Be queued up with with Thanos and immediately got a mirror match. The matchmaking is rigged. Wake up, sheeple. Post is only continuing to rise. Yeah, those types of takes tend to get in the range of uh, two to three thousand upvotes on that on that subreddit. Ooh, Sakar is relatively solid for us here. Like one onslaught, please. The club well, wasn't terrible either, I suppose. So Blue Marvel is plus eight in the center since we have Iron Man there. I'll have to
uh, let R and Jesus take the wheel on this one and see what their lock jaw spins up for us, but feeling pretty okay. Mmm, ba, dip it up, these doom bots. Whipping up some doom bots. Our opponent loses to blue marble. Slog, bud. Victory. Wasp is, in fact, not it. How's Howard in this deck? I think Howard is reasonable in this deck, but I also don't think I'd ever recommend anybody spend 6k tokens on Howard. Will the Galactus from earlier make it onto YouTube? It will not. I already have uh, three or four videos lined up for the next few days. And then High Evolutionary is going to hit, so I'll have a few High Evolutionary highlights that I need to do for next week. For those of you that weren't here earlier, we were paid money to play Galactus for an entire hour, and we role-played as a typical Galactus player and emoted the shit out of our opponents while we played it. So if you want to catch that, you'll want to you'll want to make sure you check out my uh, my secondary YouTube channel, the Jeff Hoagland one, where my full stream archives go. You can relive the experience if you missed it live. Delete the VOD. <laughs> no, it's special. It's just for us. Can Howard be onslaughted to see new cards? That is not how he works, no. How much did that cost? $50 per half hour. Ah. That is not the going rate. Every every subsequent segment costs more. Parker. Parker. Super Scrolls probably good against their deck too, huh? Might just vibe for a turn, I think. I think they'll move Howard the Duck straight to pull three instead of four. Yeah, I think there's a chance that that happens. You've gotta be kidding me! Damn it, Wanda! What a fucking joke. Recube positive on Galactus. Yeah, we had like a 60% win rate. I even donated eight cubes at one point because I was just trying to throw them away and we still finished cube positive. The Galactus deck is legitimately good. It does not make me happy or excited to say that, but it is it is legitimately good. I included it in my best decks video today for a reason. You can stomach playing the deck. It is a good climbing deck.
How many cards are in their deck? Only four. What's our deck is in it? Our deck has Blue Marvel, Iron Lad, Devil Dino. I think this is our most, I think you're supposed to retreat here, but our most likely chance to win is playing like this. How do they have three Dark Hawks? Oh, they Iron Lad and Moon Girl and then regular Moon Girl. Okay, got it. Does Master Mold have a place in bounds to go against the mirror? I don't think so. I think that's too narrow. Even with the bounce deck being super popular, it's only like 10% of the format. And playing a fairly bad card just for the sake of one matchup that's like one in 10 is not a, not a good use of your valuable deck slots. Oh. Does Spectrum have a place in this build? I don't think so. Spectrum's kind of middling with Iron Lad. We also have some other six drops. I've liked Doctor Doom. I think I think you'd have to give up Doctor Doom to make Spectrum work. The Duck Noise is literally the best thing the card has going for it. Wow! Why would you insult my Howard like that? GG Saucy. Alright, what did my poor duck ever do to you? He knows what he did, Chad, he's just an innocent detective duck trying to get by in this cold, hard world full of killmongers. Leave Howard alone! Play any more Shaun of Dazzler. I, I can't say I know what Shaun of Dazzler is, no. Oh, well, that's. Ha! Huh. What if I do this to lock out their lockjaw? And then we like onslaught the claw next turn too. Well then. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Victory. 
It's like blue marble mind stone. The order doesn't matter here. Why why does the order matter? What am I, what am I missing? Why are people saying order? Yeah, Lockjaw, Lockjaw got moved to the center, shit. Okay. Yeah, the Lockjaw visual bugs are, are rough. Are rough, rough, rough. It is. The universe shall be set right. Of course the universe will be set right, chat. We've got Howard the Duck on one. What's not to love about having a duck on one? Uh, uh. They're bots at infinite. There are unfortunately bots at infinite. Oof. Or Thanos since you switched to Thanos. That's true, you know. The truth is out there. Wake up, sheeple. There for Mr. Groot. People telling me I should check the duck. I knew, okay? I knew in my heart of hearts what Iron Line was hitting. We lose like Dino or Thanos. This is what, this is what our opponent deserves for being a Pixel Professor X enjoyer. They deserve to be deep underground. Victory. Even if they had put Jeff here, we still win the breaker. Ooh, I forgot we needed, uh, I forgot I needed blue Marvel boosters. Uh, need a decent split on him still. It's like Wasp versus a TH Warhead slightly better. Yeah, it's technically true. Ooh, cloning vats for my duck. We probably reality said the cloning vats. Think it's not. Not great for us on average. How's the claw going? Five splits. Oh, we got inked on our claw split five. Claw. The claw is going quite well. Keep one of these stones ideally here. Okay. What sort of decks are favored in a Sandman ramp? Galactus?
Do I want to draw a claw? I kind of don't, right? I can do this so I could draw something, something else. We drew the claw anyways because of this. It's fine. That's fucking cheating right there. Definitely dead. Escaped. Four, four energy, 23 power. Jubilee copied, iron, got Iron Lad who copied Odin and then Odin got Black Bolt. Above, above average four points of energy spent, really. Marginally, marginally so. Dodging bullets like he's in the Matrix. Stato's good or evil in the films. He's a big bad in Marvel Step because he's uh he's a bad mamma jamma. this I am Iron Man You know what Sure I feel, I feel like I need to, and this is, I guess this is just like how fucking stupid some people are, but I guess, I guess I need to clarify because I just banned a shitter for it. When I said my opponent got 23 power off of Jubilee was cheating in the digital game that has automatic fucking rules enforcement where it's literally impossible to cheat. I was fucking oozing in sarcasm. So holy shit, Jenner. No, it's not poor sportsmanship to make a joke and say that a high roll is like they were cheating. And also, 
The fact that you said it's poor sportsmanship to retreat afterwards? Holy fuck, do you not understand the core mechanics of the game? The amount of you need your you need to tough it up and be a man and not retreat. Like those those types of attitudes are so fucking wild. You should you should use the core game mechanic. You're not a real man. What kind of beta shit is that retreat, Hogland? <laughs> Pseudo Tam. Thank you for the four and the over four years. Welcome back. All right, Howard, what do we got? Just a soul stone. So this has got to be a uh, double, what's it called, coming up, right? Double, double doom. Whoa! They enchantressed my duck, chat! They're coming for our land! It's fucked up! I'm sorry, I'm still just genuinely kind of baffled that someone was like, you said they were cheating. Like, I just... <laughs> because in order... It, and, like, here's the thing, right? In order to think I genuinely believed my opponent cheated, you also have to think that cheating is possible. Like, that, right? Like, there's... In order to think that that's not a joke and it was a sincere comment, you have to be of the idea that this is a thing that could actually happen. Victory. Weekly box just in time. credits out of a season pass box now that's basically cheating chat I have cheated the system to get 200 credits out of a box those those season pass reserves they're supposed to have fucking boosters and pixel variants nothing else A terrible mistake. Oh no. Okay, uh actually I'm gonna <laughs> respect. Respect respect. Opponents just like Mindscape, Dream Dimension, fuck this shit, I'm out. I I'm gonna be honest, I was kinda close to doing the same. Just like the actually like two of the least fun locations popping up next to each other. It's like peace. Destiny will arrive. Destiny will arrive.
wonder if there's stats on how many turns the average game of step completes that's a good question turf like what are the i wonder what the global retreat rates are i guess i guess the stat i would be most interested in is how many games play out the full turn sex be a, a stat that i personally would like to see depends on if you play galactus <laughs> I feel like after rank 70, most games end on turn three or four. I agree with that, Turf Doctor. I think turn, turn three to four, if someone feels like they're in a strong position, they push the button and the other one leaves is an accurate. This is how the game's playing out on average among more competitive players. No! Wow! They gave this person my duck? Chad, I paid so much money for this duck. Why would they let a pleb have it? This is my duck game. You can't just give it to the plebs. Well, this beats an infinite. First you call them cheaters and now plebs unsubbed unfollowed see you on reddit bucko <laughs> we're taking you to the internet police destiny will arrive destiny will arrive Our deck's actually not that good at Ashuri's lab. A lot of our power is coming from ongoing effects. It's the best eight cube deck right now. <sighs> Probably the bounce variations if I had to guess. They're, pre they're pretty good at putting a lot of stats into play on the last turn. Generally, generally speaking, decks that put a lot of stats into play tend to be better 8-cube decks. Surprise Patriot. I think Patriot... I think, I think Patriot is super overhyped, and when we played it, it felt exceedingly clunky and awkward. Was not, not happy with the Patriot. Patriot build when we tried it. What is that command? We don't miss a chance to make fun of crypto on this channel, Warlock. Yeah, I'll be, I'm really interested, the, that's the thing I'm most interested to see when we get Conquest added to the game is, does it feel like the metagame is drastically different there? Because it feels like decks like Bounce will be worse into battle mode on average, just because like, if you ever queue into Sandman, you're just like 0%, right? And it feels like, it feels like you won't be able to afford to play decks that have super polarized matchups inside of Conquest.
Our opponent's much luckier than I chat. They, uh... They're good at getting variants for cards right when they come out. Playing Lockjaw into... Do we hear anything about what Conquest is? Conquest is going to basically be the battle mode, but with a Q inside the client. So you won't, you won't need to like actually have friends or touch grass to play it. You'll just like get to queue up and hit play. It's better, it's better for gamers because we don't, we don't like people. All systems go. Never met a person I like. I mean, if you met people, they're largely bastards. I haven't even seen grass in years. Feels like we're dead here. This build's okay, but it's just like pretty clunky. In the games where we don't draw stones early. There's a lockjaw on top of our deck. That do anything? What if I Iron Land into Lockjaw into Mindstone hit Claw Windmill? Profit. I believe, chat. I believe. Okay, if we hit Claw, we win the game. And this is uh, this is pulling two stones out of our deck here. It is the prophecy of which the duck foretold. Wait, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm sorry. What? We tied, but I'm sorry. What ability copied from M. Baku? Land Baku. Holy crap. <laughs> what a game. What a gamer. I wasn't planning on writing games down to put in highlights today, but there's no way that one's not going in. Lad Baku tie after I hit the claw on the cold shot. All right. Dual gaming hours up in here. Yeah, they, and they, it's not like they lucked into that chat. They played Iron Lad into the Lockjaw while they had Howard on, while they had Howard. So they knew Baku was on top. The shall be set and they put that in as 12, knowing they were copying it. Looking for Lockjaw here. Pre-recorded, etc., etc. We time we time stoned. So we have to go ahead and go lockjaw into reality here in the middle. Jotunheim's going through a bit of an identity crisis in its teenage years here. It's seen, it's seen some shit. Opponent 
You snapped me? Excuse me? Actually the worst hit in our deck. I guess Thanos was the worst hit technically, but that's up there. We have all good hits on the Wasp now though, huh? I had played Reality Stone previously. I had Reality Stone to the Lockjaw. Like Iron Iron Lad explicitly does not count as one of the stones played. The stones the stones care about the name of the card, not the effect on the card. It was going to be an insane hand, too. Sad. Destiny will arrive. Lad is a power stone and all the stones have been played. Does Thanos get plus 20? Yes. This is in fact how that works. A plan to start changing inks into golds or still working getting new cards. I still have a bunch of new cards I want to get up. Yep. I'm also not 100% if I want to change... I'm also not 100% if long term I want to change inks or I want to change golds. I think I think I might like the inks a little better. Turn this in though. Damn it, Bobby. Freaking reality chat. Is Echo the perfect counter to ongoing cards? That's not that's not really true, right? Because you like you put her into play and then your opponent like she keeps ongoing cards off a specific lane, I suppose. Or like if you have Daredevil in priority, you could tag people with her. Yeah, one one, two, after your opponent plays an ongoing card, you remove its abilities.
Is Echo... Will Echo bring Wong Winter upon us? Yeah, so you can, like, Echo and then play Wong into your Echo path? Is it, is it going to be a cold Wong Winter after Echo releases? Would you wait for high Evo or get Thanos to your shop? I would leave Thanos pinned for a week and wait and see what high Evo looks like next week. A name for rent. Thanks for taking 350 from Jeff Bezos and sending it to Jeff Hoagland. Appreciate the support. Probably just use Enchantress then, right? No! It's only Cosmo that beats Wong, chat. I refuse to hear your Wong slander. Echo's gonna make Wong playable. Copium. Why you have to be so mean? It's only game. Ultimate variants of cards show up if you don't have the base version of the card. I don't believe so. Howard! Is this enough to win here? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. All right, chat, we need our copy of the claw, okay? We need our, we need our copy of the claw. Blue Marvel could do too. That's a claw. That's a claw. Their bishop's gonna get plus three though. Spider-Man 2099s I think is the other most exciting upcoming egg card. All right, this wasp is gonna hit blue marvel I believe. No love for Silk. I think all the cards releasing next month are playable. I think 2099 is the sweetest, though. Yikes. Yikes! We have died, champ. Ugh! When you get what you wanted for Christmas and it still wasn't good enough. Our lock draws were hot this afternoon. Our deck, let the record reflect that our deck tried. All right, champ, it's Friday. I think I'm gonna take off a little bit early. Uh, we're taking the kids camping this weekend, so I wanna start getting ready for that. Uh, I'll be back Monday morning you can expect daily deck highlights still up on the Hoaglandia staff YouTube side. Someone asked, um, where is the Jeff Plays Galactus things? It was earlier in today's stream. So if you check on the Jeff Hoagland YouTube channel later tonight, today's stream archive will be published up there. We did it for an hour. You can also check it out on the Twitch mod now without waiting, but Twitch's player does suck. So it'll be up on the secondary YouTube channel this evening. Catch you. Catch you later, folks.
Drop a read on the way out the door. Check out Z Chat. She's great.